The look on the faces of the displaced occupants of the affected buildings could best be described as devastating as they surveyed what remained of their property from the rubble of the affected buildings. Houses which occupants were said to have traveled for the Christmas celebration were left at the mercy of the weather. The displaced occupants, while counting their losses, expressed sadness at the incident and wondered why the state government decided to violate court processes and vent anger on their place of abode, thereby leaving them homeless. They said most worrisome is that they were not served quick notice before the demolition. I was in my house in the night. All I said, I just saw people pull it down. I said, I shout to God, I'm a widow. Give me today, let me just pack. What is going on? Nobody is talking. He said, it's order from government. From gov governor. Breaking everywhere. No notice. I just said, God, please. I pleaded and pleaded. Look at my leg. I was kind of knelt down, begging. I slept in my neighbor's house. That's why I'm removing my teeth now. Sound. Went into our soup. The food we prepared for the week is gone. The, the pots were demolished. We are human beings. We are no animals. And uh, this is democracy. I don't, there's no democracy here now. Even when the armies were in charge, they can't do this to fellow human beings. And we are even neighbors. We went twice to vote for Oshomole. From here to that uh, center, twice. We never went to him, give us a bottle of mineral. Look at what they are using to pay us. Only for me to get home, I saw that the demolition exercise was on with bulldozer. I don't know where the governor got tarts from, smoking Igbo, Indian hair, and everything. They were everywhere, both policemen and all. And they said we must move our things out that yesterday evening. When there was no prior notice, we started begging. We are feeling very, very bad. At, uh, at least the government, they should be able to open or, you know, obey the rules and the laws of the land. And the government now, they are the one turning against the senior citizens of the state. It is very bad. It is very bad. Very, very bad. You can see, there's no way this is done in any way, any part of the world, that you are destroying people's property when they are still inside. Reacting to alleged insensitivity and disobedience of court proceedings by the state government, the Commissioner for Justice and Attorney General of the state, Baisa Harry Idahabo, said the state government acted on court judgment dated 16th of December 2014, adding that what the state government did was to take possession of its property and not demolition as alleged in some quarters. Barrister Idahabo further stressed that the state government did not receive any stay of execution or no of appeal. Why cancer to the state government on the matter? Austin Omonua, SAN, told the line of the Justice Commissioner but maintained that he is not aware that the houses have been demolished. And even if we are served of uh, their the notice of appeal, they did not file a stay of execution of the, of the judgment of court. We have no apologies whatsoever. We have no regrets whatsoever. What we have done is in accordance with the law. This is the judgment written by a judge. One of the best judges we have in the state. Since the 16th of December, no court has sat over this matter. Or no orders have been made. You understand? So that's the situation. So I don't want to go into discussing things that I am not party to, that I don't know about. Okay? As a lawyer, I want to restrict myself to law. And most of the time, I do my law in court. Reacting to the views of the Justice Commissioner and Cancer to the State Government on the demolished buildings, Cancer to University of Benin, Chief Okeanya Ine, SAN, said after the judgment in December, he filed notice of appeal on the 18th and motion of stay of execution on the 19th of same month, which were served on the defendants and received by them, and wondered why the demolition of the buildings. We expected that as at that date, Listen, they have been served by the court. Our duty is to file. But when we went to court on Monday, this was Friday, the bailiff said that he has duly served these documents on the defendants. With which means law, we have done what the law asks us to do. Chief Okeanya Ine, SAN, promised to prosecute the case to a logical conclusion. Wellington, Akadeja.
reporting.